All right, let's go. What's up, my beautiful people? It has been almost two years since I last posted a video. Almost two years. Um, I went on hiatus before I even moved, which is what we're here to talk about now. Just here to give an update video. If you hear something in the background, I am making dough for cinnamon rolls. So, yeah. But yeah, so that's what you hear in the background. I try to talk loud enough so that you don't hear it. Like, it doesn't cloud me out or whatever. But I'm, I have it on a pretty low, um, I have it on a pretty low, um, speed. So, it should be good. For sure. But this isn't about, I have another video. I'm going to make a separate video for this. Um, I'm just doing it now. So that, you know, I can get it done or whatever. But, yeah. Um, so yes, I am back. Um, I have not uploaded to my channel in so long. Um, I haven't uploaded to my Instagram in so long. I'm actually locked out of my Instagram page. Yeah, so I've changed the password and forgot the password. And then I don't have access to the email that's connected to that, so yeah. But yeah, this is just to give you an know, update video. Um, because I'm about to get back into the swing of creating videos, creating content. It's gonna be so much more than food though. I'm changing the name of the channel and everything. Um, it's just gonna be me. Like it's gonna embody everything about me. I'm not just gonna limit it to food whatsoever. Um, but yeah, so I just wanna give an update. So um, most people don't know that last April, April 2023, I moved from Mississippi um, at the age of 30. Yep, yeah, sorry. I moved from Mississippi at the age of 30 to California. I currently reside in San Francisco. <laughs> Um, this is my apartment. I just moved to this particular apartment back in August. Um, so yeah, I've been here about a year and a half. Um, and it's just, it's been amazing. Like, I, I cannot lie. It has been absolutely amazing. Um, I pivoted. I listened to God and I didn't let, I didn't block out him talking to me. Um, during the time period that all this like came about to you know move or whatever i was i had really gotten deep 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 into my spirituality with god my relationship with god like we are like we are like this um so i listened and i didn't i didn't have an official plan i, I had a security job out here and i was just like okay let's go um i gave everything all my positions away Pretty much, I accepts the, like clothes and like a few things, but for the most part, my entire apartment I gave away. I tried to sell it, but then something just came on me. It was like, you know, give it away. Um, I was supposed to keep a lot more clothes than I kept, but I gave so much stuff away. For good, the clothes make sense because I can't, I wouldn't be able to fit none of this stuff now. I'm still on the fitness journey. For those who don't know, still on the fitness journey. I was at when I first started my fitness journey in 2022. I was at almost 600 pounds. Right now, I'm like right at 3.30, and yeah, still go hard in the paint every day, five days a week. Yeah, we'll get to that, that's, that's another time, but yeah, so um, I pretty much I pivoted. Listen to God, I gave everything away. Um, only a few people knew that I was moving. Um, Audriana Myron being one of my best friends, she knew, she was the main person that really knew. Um, nobody else really. Honestly, I didn't, I just didn't communicate with anyone else. And even to, to her point, I didn't tell her until the last minute. I didn't tell her until I got the job. So how it happened was I ended up applying for a job a week prior. They called me back. Um, I mean, we did an interview that week. They told me the next week that, you know, I got the job. And I told them I'd be there next week. Like, it literally happened, like, in a span of, like, three weeks. Like, a three-week span from the beginning of April until, you know, I left at the end of April. Um, yeah, and I told them I'd be there. And then at that point, that's when I told, um, that's when I told Marm that I was moving. And again, she was there every step of the way. She helped me clean up my apartment. She took me to the airport. Like, she really held me down. Like, I couldn't ask for a better person in my life, honestly. Like, I've always been so encouraged. I've always been pushing me to do more and more. Um, wasn't that gonna let me back out of anything this time? Because much like I knew, I felt like I know she knew as well that this is it, you know. So yeah, I, I moved. I didn't have any money really to my, I didn't have any money, bro. Like I spent the last bit of chunk of money that I had, which is about $400. I spent about $300 of that on my plane ticket, my one-way plane ticket to San Francisco. 
Um, I didn't have any other, I didn't have no other ones like that. Um, I had like, honestly, after all of that, I probably had like $40 left to my name. Literally, like $40. Um, yeah, about $40. Uh, so much so that when I got to the airport, I didn't even have no money to check. I took two bags with me. I didn't even have no money to check my bags. I had to call my and she sent me money. Um, but yeah, anyway, so yeah, I got on the plane. I left. Um, I didn't tell anyone in my family. I didn't tell my mom until the day of. We weren't really speaking, so, you know. But I didn't tell her until the day of. And um, when I was in the airport. And yeah, I got on the plane. I left and I have not looked back. I have not been back to Mississippi since. Um, I was supposed to go this month. I was in October. I was supposed to go in October. I didn't. Um, yeah, that's not really much putting me back to Mississippi at the moment, like, right? um, on this journey, you know. But, you know, that's not really much putting me back to Mississippi. Alright, okay. I had to go in a mission to put, um, see about my dog. But, yeah, um, yeah, but as I was saying in the last part, I don't really have a big need to go back to Mississippi at the moment. Um, you know, so, yeah. But just get back into my time here in San Francisco. It's so crazy because at the top of 2023, I did my first ever vision board. And, um, everything that I put on the vision board, I realized this last year, everything that I put on the vision board came to fruition. Like, every single thing. Um, and that's just a test of power, to God's power. If you just stay dedicated to Him, be obedient, be faithful, let Him use you, um, take your ego out of it. Don't think that you have to understand everything. Don't think that everything has to be picture perfect. Like, literally everything on that list came to fruition. I told myself a few other times that I wanted to move to a new city, I wanted to a better job, um, I wanted a better apartment. I put on there a car, but I live in the city, I don't have any desire to, to get a car. Um, I put so many things on there, and literally every last one of those things to check off. Like, one by one. I never really, when I first moved here, I'm not gonna lie, I was scared. Like, I was scared, bro. Like, completely scared. Because I don't know anyone out here. I was out here by myself, but I knew that I could handle it. Um, because I've been in situations like that before. I went to college completely by myself, you know. Moved in by myself, you know. So I knew that I could handle it. I just knew that it was gonna be something I just had to see through. Like I couldn't, I couldn't back out. Um, and I think that's why God let me just give everything away as well because it's like, I, I, don't, I didn't have anything to go back to. It had to work. Um, but yeah, I got here, I started working. The first couple of days was really rough. I actually got COVID upon getting here. Um, but I was still going to work because again, I didn't have any really money. So I had to make sure I, had, I kept working to keep, keep, keep a roof over my head, you know, until I found an apartment. Um, which it took me about three months to get an apartment, which we'll get into that later. But, um, three or four months to get an apartment. But, yeah, so I was going to work. I wasn't working in directly in San Francisco when I first moved here. I was working out, um, in a place, in a town called Comfort, which is out in the East Bay. But, um, then I eventually interviewed within, like, the first three weeks, got a position here, making amazing money, um, yeah. And it's just been a crazy ride. Like, I, it's... I have been so nervous about coming back to film. Once I moved into this apartment, I was supposed to start that film. And I just been putting it off and off and off and off. And I, God gave me a serious wake up call this week that, yeah, you need to get back to chasing your dreams and aspirations. I had gotten comfortable, basically. Like, because when I'm making, a, I'm making an amazing amount of money, I'm comfortable, I travel. Took, I've taken about 10 trips this year. Um, I travel a lot. Um, I have a disposable income. Like, I don't, for the first time, last year was the first time where I did, I, I never missed a rent payment. I was on time every month. I couldn't say that for a long time. You know, when I was in Mississippi, like, literally, never missed a rent payment. Never been late, nothing, like, could have put, like, were you, like, God brought me to a place where I could put stuff on auto pay. Like, and literally not worry about it. Like, like that's, that, that's where he, that's the position he put me in. Um, so I knew I just had to see it through and just keep at it. Like, it's been nothing short of a miracle. The way that my life did a complete 180, you know. And to think that it all started with me just going for a walk one day in 2022. 
um, you know, started my fitness journey just going for a walk down my block. A half a mile there, half a mile back. That's where it started. That started the clarity, the relationship with God. Like, to think it just stemmed from there is just like, it's something, man. Like, it's hard to talk about. Only certain people understand it. Um, and I don't mean that it's like it's like an exclusive club or anything, but literally only certain people understand that you really have to be in tune, you have to be tapped in, you have to know God. Like and knowing God doesn't isn't doesn't mean you always understand, you know, what is going on, but you just have to be like, okay. And that's what this was. Like I didn't question it. And it's crazy because people anyone that knows me knows that from when I was a kid, I always said I wanted to move to California, but it was LA because of Girlfriends. Look, Girlfriends is my all-time favorite show of all times. Um, I said that like three times, it wasn't, but whatever. It's like my all-time favorite show. Um, and the girls made me love LA. They made me love California. And I was supposed to move to San Francisco back in 2020. But I, I was like, no, I wasn't ready. Like, I wasn't ready. Mentally, spiritually, physically, nothing. I wasn't ready. Like, it would've chewed me up and spit me out. Like, no lie. Um, so I didn't move, you know. And at the time when I was, was when like how I knew that I was like something was about to give is because I could I could just see clear as day that God was tearing down the walls around me in Mississippi. I could see it. Um, and so I was just like at the beginning of April, I like something happened. I was just like oh, April 2023. I was just like, yeah, I gotta start. I gotta go and just look for something else. It was just a click, like. Just like that, it was just like, yeah, I gotta look for something else. Yeah. I didn't understand it, um, but it just clicked and I just started looking. And at first I was looking in Seattle. I just re recently visited Seattle for my birthday. Um, don't, didn't like it that much. So, to see why that didn't work out. But, um, yeah, so uh, I was supposed to move, to, I was looking at Seattle because I was supposed to move to Seattle in 2022. Um, that didn't go through and then at the last minute I something just popped in my mind said San Francisco so God you know so I went with it you know didn't question it, went with it. Um, but yeah it's been you just have to listen you have to listen you have to listen you have to trust you can't think that you're gonna know the answer to everything or God's gonna paint it out for you you know plain and simple I can't, I'm not gonna lie for my move here to San Francisco he did paint it out to me like so many visions came up, came to me in dreams. I could literally go through my phone, like I could literally go through my phone right now and show you so many notes from 2020, uh, 2020 early 2023, 2022 as well, where I was heavily documenting my dreams because they were so vivid. Um, so I could literally run down so many notes in my phone of dreams of like situation that I would document for my dreams and they literally were all just visions of me moving like living out here in California. Um that's just God. <laughs> like that that's that's just God. Like literally I go down the list of them for like a, a a period of time where I just kept getting visions and stuff and I was just like of me working out here me living out here apartment and people I just kept and I'm like what the fuck mind you at the time I never did could never piece it together to know like where this is, I just documented it, you know, and sure as I got out here, deja vu was hit me, like, boom, 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 and then I would go through my notes and confirm it, and I was just like, wow, <laughs> you know, but, um, yeah, it was destined for me to be here, it was God, it was all in God's plan, it was at the right time, and he knew that I'll be able to, he knew that I'll be able to, so, you know, not suffer, but he knew that I'd be able to endure it, like, he knew that if I was to even give past those first couple months, it was gonna be smooth sailing. Like I was just gonna, you know, just you know, it was gonna be, it was gonna be, it was gonna be good. But yeah, yeah, it's been, it's been a journey, man. I can go on more and more, and I will as I make more videos. Um, but it's just been, it's just been amazing. Like it's been amazing. It has truly been amazing. And again, I just have to give all thanks to God. Like. For the people he's placed on my path, for me just listening, like this, but you can't. The one thing I've learned is you can't ask for change and then fight against it. You can't. 
You can't ask God for change and then fight against the process of him trying to take you to it. Like, you can't. And you also have to know, like like I said, I had intuition. I'm just like, when something happened, when that situation happened at the beginning of April 2023, and I'm just like, yeah, it's time. You know, I'm just like, I, I just knew. I was like, it's time. Because I'm like, I can't take another blow. You know, if I take another blow, all the work I had done up until that point would have been for nothing. Like, it would have been for nothing because I would have sat back. Like, I would have. Like, I would have just, I would have gave up. So, I knew that it was just time for me to bounce from Mississippi and don't look back. Like, I, I just knew it. And I'm out here living in California, in the Bay. I don't know really anyone here. I, you know, um, I have, in my opinion, one solidified friend from a co-worker of mine. Um, he's older, so, yeah. But he reminds me so much of my dad, so, um... But he's been a joy and a delight. I know for a fact God placed him on my path. Um, but yeah, it's been it's been amazing out here. Like I, I can't not lie. The things I've experienced, um, continuing my faith has also been amazing out here. And right now I'm just in a, right now I'm at a place where it's just like I'm getting back to my dreams. Cause I had let me tell you, I told, I'm telling you I had got comfortable. Like I had got comfortable, bro. And God gave me a wake up out of this world this week, like don't play with me like i ain't just bring you out here to pour into somebody else's dreams like come on now do what you gotta do let me use you let me use you come on stop resisting let me use you so here we are you know like i said it took a lot to do this video i've been so nervous it's crazy because i got I, yesterday i told myself i was gonna take a walk this morning which i did i got him to walk um because it's a weekend so i'm not in the gym this week on the weekend i'll be back in there tomorrow but yeah so i got um I got up and I was like, I'm gonna go for a walk. The water, um, the bay is right down the street from me. So, and the grocery store is down there too. So I was like, I need to go by the grocery store to pick up a few, like to get like two or three more things. I needed salt. I went to the grocery store Thursday night because I was down by the water. I had walked down there. Um, and so, and cause I had went by the water and on my way back, I had stopped by the grocery store. I picked up everything, but for some odd reason in my mind, it slipped me to get salt when I was there. It did not hit me until I literally got home, like as soon as I got home from that night. Because I had went out, got a drink, and then I was like, oh, I want to go, I want to go by water. So I got home. I was like, damn, man, I forgot to get salt because I'm almost out. So I um to wrap this up because I'm long winded. It's crazy because this is just you know, listen, to God, you, you know, I woke up this morning. I knew I was gonna be filming. I was so nervous. Like, when I woke up this morning, I got up at, like, 5.30. Because um, I was going to be at the house by, like, 6.40 to start on um, walking. Because the bay is, like, a mile and a half from me. A mile, two miles from me. Um, and so, I was so nervous. So, I was like, yeah, I need this walk. Because I'm nervous as fuck. Like, I am nervous. And I don't even, like, I'm just nervous. I'm like, I need this walk. And it's so crazy because God knew that I would need the walk. So that's why he that's why he that's why he had me forget the salt because I needed this I needed that walk, bro. And when I say it calmed me so bad, it brought me back to how I even how we even got to, to this point, you know, all in a walk, you know. And it was I got down there so fucking fast. I was like, God damn. I looked at the clock, like I, I looked up and I saw the street. I'm like, God damn, I'm already here. It feel like it only took me like five minutes to get there. I think it took about ten, but normally it would take me like twenty, almost twenty five minutes, thirty minutes. It took me literally like 10 minutes to get there and I ended up, I slowed down because I'm like, I'm walking too fast. I ain't in no rush, you know, it's six o'clock in the morning. I ain't, I ain't in no rush. But yeah, um, he knew I needed that walk because just getting in front of the camera just been nerve wracking, man. I fell out of love with, I don't say I fell out of love with it, but it wasn't, it just wasn't in the, it wasn't on my mind at the time. Like it just wasn't on my mind at the time. Filming and stuff, it, it wasn't on my mind. I actually stopped filming before I even moved to out here well i stopped posting on here i stopped posting on youtube i was still posting on tiktok um but yeah um i stopped posting on youtube because i'm just like yeah hold on but and i couldn't figure out the shorts i still don't know how to post a short whatever but i ain't gonna let all that deter me because like just like today i started on my dough earlier and my yeast went activate so i'm like what the fuck I could have gave up. And then I also made, I almost mixed the wrong flour. <laughs> I, almost, I, made, I almost put self rise flour in this. <laughs> and yeah. Well, you know, I just kept going. But yeah. Um, I, I, need, I know I need to get back to filming. You know, because God has provided such a beautiful life for me. So it's like, why wouldn't I want to share that? Why, why wouldn't I want to share that? I don't. 
I don't have anything to be nervous about, you know, so I was like, why wouldn't I want to do that? But yeah, um, and then nothing, I was just like, I didn't want the internet to disturb my peace. So, because I use the internet very sparingly, like, I, don't, I put out there what I want out there, but, you know. But yeah, I use the internet sparingly, you know, I put out there what I want to put out there, I, you know, so it's like, I, I, I didn't want to disturb my peace, but I had to remind myself, like, only you can disturb your peace, truly. Like, only you can disturb your freaking peace. So, you know, I'm back. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna be showing everything. Um, I really want to show my fitness, bro, because your boy in shape. Like, your boy in shape, bro. And then another thing I've gotten back to is tennis. I got back into tennis in, back in June. Um, been taking tennis lessons. Back like I never left, bitch. Like, back like I never left. It's crazy the life God has really provided for me. Like, perfect peace. Like, I don't, I don't have a care in the world. So it's like, I don't have a care in the world. I don't have a worry in the world. Any problems that come up are just things that I conjure in my mind. It's the mind doing what the mind do. So it's like, I don't, I have a peaceful life. So it's like, why wouldn't I want to share that? I, 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 I have so many extracurricular, so many extracurricular activities. It's crazy to me that I used to worry about how I'm going to pay this, how I'm going to pay this, and now my only worry is, okay, well, how am I going to spread myself for all the things that I'm doing now? <laughs> like, for all the extracurricular things that God has provided for me, how am I going to spread myself in? Like, how am I going to do everything? That's my biggest freaking worry now. That's the power of God. If you stay obedient, if you stay faithful, if you listen, if you let him use you, he'll give you everything that you could have asked for. Don't get comfortable in that because the thing about God, God wants to continue to elevate. I got comfortable. I know God wants to continue to elevate me far beyond what he's already, far beyond the amazing things he wants to, far beyond the amazing things he's already provided. So it's like, I have to keep, I have to not rest on where I am right now. I have to know that it's more and more to come, you know. Like, it's more and more to come. I just have to take out the nerves, bro. You, I already know that nerves, anxiety, fear, all that's going to be there. Walk through it. I just got to walk through it. That's it. I just got to walk through it. You know, just got to walk through it. You know, keep my prayer, um, keep my prayers tight. Just keep my relationship with God tight. And all is great. Like, I'll continue to feel his love. Know when he's talking to you. Like, like... It's hard to put into words. It really is hard to put into words. Like, it truly is. But, God, man. <sighs> He's amazing. He is. He's like, he is truly amazing. Like, it's all him. This, this is all him. Like, this, this is all him. And I thank him for it, you know? But, that's the end of, that's, uh, that's a little bit of the catch up, you know? I left Mississippi, I listened to God, and he's provided an amazing, amazing life for me. Was it easy? No, but well worth it. Well worth it. It wasn't anything that I hadn't seen before, honestly. So it was just like, why are you nervous, you know? Um, but yeah, that's it for now. Again, I'm making dough, so I'm gonna be uploading this video as well. And I'm gonna come back and do more talking videos. I, like I said, I really wanna get into the fitness side of it, but I don't like filming at the gym. Uh, but I do got weights at home now, so I can feel some stuff at home. Well, let's, let's, let's try to mess it. Let's try to do that. But, because your boy is in shape. Like, your boy is in shape. I'm going to I'm I'm add pictures and stuff um, as well. And I'm thinking about doing vlogmas. Like, I am. Not, it don't have to. Like, I'm thinking about doing vlogmas. I think I am. I think I'm going to do vlogmas. I think I'm going to do vlogmas. Um, but, yeah. That's it for now. Thank y'all. Um... I didn't have many subscribers, but, you know, that doesn't really matter. As long as it touches one person, like, that's all that matters, honestly. Literally, that's all that matters. Um, but, yeah, that's it. Thank y'all. And we'll be back at the next video. We'll be back at the next video. I never used to show my face much. Now, um, I want to show, show my face, bro. So, yeah, we'll be back. I'll see y'all in the next video. I love y'all. Remember, keep God first. Remember, only God's love. Only God's love is present. Everything else is just extra. See y'all.